Okay, so good evening once again. Today we're going to discuss portfolio optimization using uh, these particular packages, want mode performance analytics. By the way, let's include uh, technical trading rules. Okay, let's include TTR. So the way to go about this, we learned last time, is you can install this separately if you have not installed it. And you know that the, the code to install that is, is install that packages. Okay, and then we we concatenate uh, we concatenate these packages. But we also learned that uh, there is a shortcut to that. If we uh, we have load or have we just kindly confirm we have loaded the uh, we have installed and loaded the Pacman package last time, didn't we, class? Could you kindly check in your packages if you have already Pacman? That's so it's there, but it's not checked. Okay, yeah. So if it's not checked, then we have to, uh, the way to check it is to uh, impose library Pacman. So when we impose that, you will now see that Pacman is already checked. Or the other way is just to check Pacman here. All right. Then uh, we know, we have learned that one of the shortcuts, quote unquote, is to from the Pacman package, you use the P load. Okay, the P load. Okay, let me just type it. Kasi maraming P package yan. Package load, no? And then the one advantage here is that if you haven't installed these packages, it will automatically install and then uh, load it at the same time. So. It's like killing two birds with one stone. Let's just copy this. And another good thing about the Pacman package is that you don't have to put this in quotes. Okay, yeah, direction ng ganyan, no? All right. So if I run this, okay, let's wait. <clears throat> Uh, now, uh, this is good only if you're installing the package just for the first time. Pero pag meron na, no, no need to, no need to install again, kasi meron na naman, di ba? So you just uh, use the uh, library to load your the packages. So notice it's taking some time because. It's trying to install, okay, compute TS installed. Okay, I think we're done. Okay, so if you check, for example, quant mode, if we check it under packages here, quant mode, okay, it, it should already be checked. It means that it's already loaded. And then also performance analytics. Performance analytics, this one. Okay. So, uh, by the way, uh, your first quote-unquote exams will be uh, more on a report on the indicators. Okay. So, you'll be tasked to uh, explain in class. Name magiging exam natin plus the final report plus a paper natin yung final report like a project uh, ito, uh, technical trading rules so if we click this ang ang ano nyo, ang ang quote unquote quiz is to come up with a file on our markdown and then explain yung mga uh, yung mga indicators dito no? okay so the indicators will uh, either be coming from your, I'll be the one to assign technical trading rules or can also come from quant mode. Tinan natin, balikan natin si quant mode. Okay, click this. So, andito yung mga functionalities. Yan. Ito yung mga CCI. Okay. But not all, no? Mga moving averages. Yung mga mas ginagamit lang. 
Okay, MACD, moving average convergence divergence, Bollinger bands, etc. So we will identify them and then you're going to prepare a file, a, an RMD file, explaining how that is used as an indicator and then an, with an example. Okay, and then you'll uh, be reporting it in class uh, to, so that your classmates will also benefit from, from your uh, report. Okay, so uh, just by way of review, we learned how to uh, we learned how to uh, load. Huh? We learned how to load uh, stock prices from the default. Now is what's the default now? San ang gagaling stock prices? Anyone? Pag stock prices na to, san ang gagaling? Yahoo, sir. Yahoo, yes. Oh, dati kasi pwedeng Google, but Google closed its accessibility. No? So ngayon, yung mga stock prices ng ganito, uh, we can get it from Yahoo. No? By the way, there, it's not only quant moda that's, uh, that's where we can use uh, that package in order to download stock prices. There's this other package, for example, ID quant. Maybe next, next meeting, I'll also uh, discuss this so that you know uh, uh, at least two, no? at least two packages by which you can extract stock prices from from Yahoo. But for tonight, let's just focus on uh, on uh, uh, on quant mode. So uh, you can the 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 most simple way to load a uh, a, a data from quant mode is this. For example, Apple. No? Either you, you give a name to it or don't give a name to it, then Apple will automatically give it its own name. And usually the name is this one. And so quick review lang, okay? When we load this, notice that in the, ob in the object uh, pane, you have here Apple. And the name of the object is AAPL, and it's an extensible time series. Okay, we discussed last time that what makes an XTS extensible time series distinct is that the index are the dates, no? it's the date. So we can see here the index being the date. Uh, an ordinary data frame will have an index as just the numbers, the one, two, three, four. No? Yung ano lang, yung ordering of the numbers. Ito, pag XTS, okay, so for example, let's uh, get the class of AAPL. So we know that it is an extensible time series or a zoo object. The difference is that in the extensible time series, there are functionalities here that we cannot do in Zoo. A zoo came first, no? but later on, uh, this other type of object was created uh, to, in order to address yung sub quote unquote limitation in Zoo. So may mga functionalities na pwedeng gamitin yung XTS and not in Zoo. All right? So, of course, we know how to. Uh, uh, let's say get the uh, some information about about uh, the object. Okay, we have here it's an XTS object containing. Ang default date niya December uh, January three, the first day of January, first trading day two thousand seven, up to the most current na no, the most current trading day, which was uh, February twenty one yesterday. Okay. And uh, it has 4,062 observations, one up to six columns. Okay, tapos ito yung mga, <clears throat> ito yung mga attributes niya, no? Data niya, numeric, et cetera. Tapos ito yung, yung, ano niya, yung mga columns siya, open, high, low, close. So, so this is an OHLC data, open, high, low, close data. So that we know. Us, and uh, uh, we define, uh, we know that it can, uh, it can uh, generate an object automatically. Okay, but if we want, for example, to name the object ourselves, we don't want the AAPL, we can do that. And it might be a good idea, for example, to, let's call, let's create this object called take for ticker symbol. 
uh, control alt i Oops, sorry mali uh, sana ako nag insert pala ako ng ano okay I'll go here let me call it tick alt minus okay and then let's name this uh, let's call this ano sige AAPL Apple no Sometimes it's better to to uh, uh, create an object for your stocks, for your stock indices, for your stock ticker symbol. Because uh, if you name it directly here, okay, later on if you keep on using that that apple in several of the codes, then you will have to replace everything that we named apple. Unlike if it was just tick, okay, we just change this. And automatically everything changes. So that's a more efficient way to do things. Did you get that uh, point, class? Clear ba yun? Sinabi kong yun? Kasi pag in-name natin si Apple dun sa, sa code natin, okay, then when we keep on using Apple, then we will have to change, we'll, we will have to use all of the word Apple in all our code. But if we identify a word no, called tick, tapos yun ang gagamitin natin dito, palitan lang natin si Apple dito, automatically lahat ng ginamitan natin ng word tick, short for ticker, will will change. So that's uh, one way to, that's one one way to, uh, uh, one good way to do it. No? Okay. Uh, clear so far, plus? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, sige. All right. Also, ako ang, I, I, I would prefer identifying the date also. So, yeah, identify ko. Kunyari, I'll start time on 2015, and then we can use either slash or ma dash. No? 2015-01 slash 01. Okay, so this is, uh, let's say, uh, kunyari, gusto natin magsimula sa 2015, Hanggang up to alt minus and then so let's define 2023 20, uh, slash 1231. Hanggang last day ng 2022. Ah, sorry. Hindi pa pala 2022. So up to the last day of uh, 2022. Okay, so we can do that. No? Uh, so we can now if we generate now an object called Apple, okay, and then get symbols. Okay. And of course, we know that this is from quant mode. Then if you take a look at the get symbols, you know, no? ang first, ano dyan, ang first parameter is capital S. Okay. It's equal to since we have already created this object tick, we're going to use that. Okay, actually we can, pwede naman hindi na ilagay yung symbol. No? But I'm just showing you yung, yung syntax talaga, yung complete syntax. And then comma. So ano pa yung pwede natin ilagay? Okay, let me go to the next line. From is equal to, uh, uh, sorry, then the, uh, palitan natin to hindi from ah gawin natin tong start kasi from yung dun sa ano eh sa syntax ng get symbols start and end okay so tapos ito from is equal to yung start okay again the advantage of doing this is that you can you can change this okay then automatically kung saan mo magdinamit yung start dun sa mga codes mo magbabago na lahat no? And then uh, 2 is equal to n. Okay. And then we can, uh, you can, you can get the, ano kasi, we can get the, yung, yung frequency ng data natin. Pwede natin kunin weekly, pwede natin monthly, pwede natin yearly, or the default is daily. Pag hindi natin ilalagay, daily ibibigay sa atin. But let me just put that there. And then, since we're naming it, 
our own AAPL, then we have to write here auto dot assign is equal to false. Kasi ang default nito true. So auto dot assign is equal to true. Uh, yung kanina, di ba? Get symbols lang. So hindi tayo nagbigay ng pangalan ng, ng XTS object natin. But here we're going to give this a name AAPL. So we have to use this auto dot assign is equal to false, which prevents R now from giving a name to the object that we're creating. Okay? All right. If we run this, okay, then we can now see here. All right. This object AATS. Okay. If I have this printed here, uh, shown here. So 2014 entries lang kanina kasi 4,000, di ba? So mas, mas konti to kasi yung date natin <clears throat> from 2015 lang. Okay, the starting uh, trading day for 2015 is January 2. Okay, and it ended on this December 30. Okay. Sir? Yes? Uh, bakit sa akin, sir, uh, hinapi ko naman yung komando, pero error, it gets in there. Sige, uh, ano natin, ha? Um, wait. Okay, I'll, I'll let you share. Stop share muna ako. Okay, kindly, Jonna, <laughs> sorry, kindly, sorry. Yeah, kindly share. Actually, sir, I'm, I'm using my phone kasi. Ah, ganun ba? Hindi ko nga siguro, sir, yung camera. Kasi para, oh, I'm using sige. my phone para right. nasusundan ko, sir, yung phone. Okay, sige, sige. Okay, sige. Okay, on All right. Lang, sir, so, uh, do you want me to repeat the process? or? Uh, pwede, pwede naman, sir, para makita sige. ko lang din okay, po yun. Okay, sige. All right. Sige, let me share screen again. So I share screen. Ko. Share screen. Okay, so let me redo the process here. Okay, so, uh, well, first we have to recreate the object, not in this case, stick. It's equal to Apple. Make sure it's in quotes. Huh? And then also the start date, dapat in quotes then. Kasi hindi tatanggapin ni ano yan. Okay, uh, let me illustrate. No, kunyari, what if I, okay, what if I did not put the quotes? So, if I if I check first yung class ni start here, ano yung, ano yung class ni start? Okay, i-run i -run ko muna to, ha? Run ko to. Huh? Okay, so, and then, and dito na si start, di ba? 2015. If I get the the class of start, numeric siya kasi date yan. No? It's a date. You know? But if I use a date, the date itself dito sa, sa, andito sa code in getting Apple prices, okay? If I run this, alright, mag-error siya. No? Nag-error siya kasi hindi rin na-recognize ni R kung yung start is a numeric data. Dapat siya character data. So, dapat gagawin natin tong character. So, I have to put here quotation and also yung end natin quotation data. Okay. Even if you put here yung date mismo yung 2015-01-01, kailangan in quotes din yun. Alright. So, yung ticker symbol, character, yung start, character, yung end character. And then, so we're using this get symbols function. We have to identify the symbols. Uh, you can use symbols is equal to yung tick object natin, or you can just remove the symbols. Uh, understood then, kasi ito yung first na parameter dito. And then from is equal to start, up to is equal to end, and then periodicity natin daily. Of course, as I said, you can, you can get weekly prices or monthly prices, which we're going to do in a while. And then auto that assign is equal to false. We have to impose this kasi okay, nag-create tayo ng panibagong object natin. Okay, i-try nga natin class kung what if I don't tanggalin natin yung auto that assign dito. Mag-work ba ito? Tingnan nga natin. Control, enter. Alright. Nag, nag ano siya, no? Nag okay. Anong nangyari? Nag-error siya, no? 
nag-error siya. Okay? Hindi, hindi natin nag-gap yung function na yan, yung code natin, kasi we're creating this object. Eh, dapat... Hello, ilagay, sir. Yes? Sa akin, sir, nag, ano naman siya? Nag-run nag naman siya. Nung tinanggal ko yung auto.assign, sir. Ah, okay. Sige, ganito gawin natin, ha? Remove muna natin yung ano, RM natin yung AAPL. Tingnan natin, natin ulit, no? RM means remove. So, tatanggalin ko muna si ano, ha? Control, enter. Tatanggalin muna natin si ano, pati si AAPL, tanggalin natin. Ulitin natin. Okay? So, wala na dito si AAPL, no? Okay. So, let's see if, uh, uh, let's run this full full code chunk again. No? Okay, tinan ko lang ha. Hmm, okay. Nag-run nga siya, no? Yeah, okay. Kasi dati hindi nag-run yan. Now, okay, tapos wala siyang clarification. Okay, so, uh, well, thank you ah, Thank you for that. Because this is, shall we say, an improvement, no? Uh, Ina-adjust kasi nila yan every, sometimes every, ano, every, uh, uh, once every quarter, yung mga packages ina update nila. So if we take a look at quant mode, check natin ah. Ano na ba yung latest nito? Kasi several months ago nung ginagamit ko to uh, okay, 0. Point, if you take a look at this 0. 0.4.20, no? nag update yan sila every ano, every now and then. Ang pag mga packages minsan once twice a year Okay, so nakalagay ba yung date dito ng last ano? Hindi nakalagay kung kailan yung last na in-update siya. Okay, sometimes dinalagay nila dito. But, okay, so good. Kung ano na, kung kung recognize na, no? Okay, so there's nothing wrong now with So yung sa akin hindi nagpapagawa. Ah, oh, ganun. Tinan nyo, ha? So, kay Tim, hindi, hindi nag-run, no? Ah, wait. Tanggalin ko nga to. Tinanggal ko ba kanina to? Alright. Tapos, i-remove ko ulit yung ano, ha? Tim, check ng version mo ng quant mode. Is it 0 0.4.20? I-question mark mo quant mode. RM ko yung AAPL, ha? Remove ko. Tapos, ito ba yung rinan ko kanina? Okay, my end na, my start, my peak. Let me run this. Okay. Akaso, ah, nag-run sa akin, kaso, tinan nyo class, no? Ito. Ito yung, ano, ito yung gusto kong sabihin kanina. Nag-run siya, take note, nag-create siya ng isang object na apple, kaso character lang siya. Si R ang ginawa, yung object na apple, it's all capitalized, AAPL. Tinan nyo, oh? hindi niya ginamit yung AAPL na sinadjust ko na ano, na gusto kong gamitin, which I wanted to use for my Apple daily prices. Rather, it created this object, capital AAPL. Tapos yung AAPL na ano na small letters, naging character lang. No? Uh, let me let me stop share. Tim, paki, ano nga? Is it okay for you to share your your screen? Hey. Yes. So, uh, for another question, kasi ako, I also tried typing yung question mark quant mm -hmm. mode. Yeah. Uh, nakalagay, sir, no documentation for quant mode in specified packages and libraries. Pero pag sa package, sir, tinipe ko yung, sinerge ko yung quant mode. Mm -hmm. Meron naman, sir, nung 0 0.4.20. Ah, ganun? So, ito yung mga, malamang ito yung mga, okay. <laughs> Try mo, dalawang question mark. Kasi minsan, okay. Kapag isang question mark, hindi niya tinatanggap. No? Pag dalawang question mark, pag package, tinatanggap. Sige, tina try mo ah. Sige, yung kay team naman, ano nangyari dito? Team? Error in get symbols. Hindi ni Apple ginamit. Oh, okay lang, no problem. No? So, get symbols, J. Uh, so, tick is equal to J. Ah, okay. Kasi, baka, I'm not sure if merong Jollibee sa ano sa Yahoo Finance. Nag-run naman, sir. Kanina, kung nakuha ko yung data. Nakuha? Kumuha, nakuha naman. Sige na mo nga, sige nga. I-ano mo nga. 
Uh, dito, dito mo sa side ano yung yung spread makita natin i view mo siya yung uh, sa yan yung may yung hindi sa baba dun sa object yeah makita mo yung sa, to the right of JFC sa pinaka right niya uh, baba ka to the right sige yung right of oh, sorry uh, uh, taas mo pa ulit yan uh, taas pa ulit taas pa ulit din Okay, dun sa JFC na, na row, yan, go to the right, pinaka-right niya, pinaka-right, sige. Pinaka-right, yan, yan, yung icon na yan, sige, click mo. Meron naman. Okay, meron na, no? Okay, meron naman, no? So, yan, ibig sabihin, kaso 971 lang. Ibig sabihin, ah, may mga volumes na wala. Okay, yun, yun ang problema nito, tingnan mo may mga NA, no? May maraming volumes. Oo, ibig sabihin, uh, either hindi na hindi nakukuha ni Yao Finance yung data na yan. Kasi parang wala na since ano. Either hindi sila na-update or, I don't know, hindi pinabayad ni Jollibee. Can go either way. So yun ang problema sa ano sa... sa or it was getting it from PSA, Philippine Stock Exchange. Tapos hindi si Philippine Stock Exchange hindi nag update So that that could be a reason, no? So that's why, unfortunately, class, uh, as much as we would want to use local local stocks, ano, uh, yeah, from from what uh, team showed, hindi 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 uh, natin. Si ano si uh, PLDT, pwede kasi nasan NYSE si PLDT, this is NYSE. Ito na lang iran yung ibang. Oh, pero tina natin na tapos i-remove mo muna si JFC tina natin. Ah, sa sa ano sa dito sa console team ERM mga JFC para ma-remove siya. I-remove muna natin. Sige. Tapos so wala na si JFC no. Tapos uh, i-highlight may ano ka na may from, may tick ka na at saka may to. I-highlight mo lang yung pero ang gawin mo small JFC. JFC yung sa yung sa row 25, line 25. Sa small JFC. Tingnan natin mangyayari. Small JFC, no? Tapos highlight mo yan. Yan, sige. Okay lang yan. Sige. Anong sabi? No? Error in get symbols. Unable to import JFC. Yan. Sir, sa akin okay naman yung JFC. Ah, okay naman. <laughs> Talaga? Sinag mo kung ano? Kung uh, sino to? Sorry. Rose, sir. Rose? Ah, sige. Thank you, Tima. Tingnan naman natin yung ano. Uh, Tim, thank you. <laughs> Pero ang natutunan natin dito kay Tim, uh, there's this possibility na hindi lahat ng prices makukuha. Pero tingnan natin kay Rose. No? Sabi niya kasi ano eh. Sabi niya, nakuha niya lahat. Sir, Rose, paki-ano nga. Paki. Sir, sandali. Mag-join ako sa ano. Kasi naka-sell oh, sige, phone sige. ako. Eh. <laughs> sige, <laughs> sige. Alright, alright. Sige, sige. Okay. So, sabi ni Rose, ma na nakuha naman niya lahat. So, let's see later kung ma-flash ma ni Rose. Ano? Tingnan. Bakit Chuck Rose kung talaga nakuha mo lahat? Ha? Kasi si Tim, sinubukan yun. Tapos ano eh. Tapos uh, it did not it did not uh, uh, show everything. May mga data na missing towards the end. No? Sa simula, meron lang. Sa simula, meron. Pero yung mga ano na, empty eh. Subukan ko nga. Let me try ha. Sir, sa akin, it's so winner dito. Sorry, sorry? Uh, this is Chuck, sir. I tried also JFC and NCF. All dates, all dates, may data. Ah, ah ganun, John, ha? Yep, sir. Sige nga, pwede mo na ma-share yung screen mo? Yeah. Oh, sige, sige. Pakishare mo yung screen mo. Okay. So, hindi na ako mag-share, sir, ah. Oh, sige, sige, sige. Okay lang. Sige, we're discovering uh, something, sir. Kasi ako, <coughs> na, <coughs> dati ko pang na-experience na hindi nag, nag ano eh, nag-load eh. Sige nga, tingnan natin. Hmm, Okay. Tingnan mo natin yung code mo, Jonah. Ayan, sige. Sir? So, JFC. Okay, kaso, tingnan mo ha, may mali dun sa code mo. Kasi, ang symbols mo is equal to tick. Diba? So, si Apple yung kinaano niyan. Diba? O, sige, palitan mo ng capital yan. Sige, iran natin yan. Ayan, sige, parang pareho din kay team yan. Unang-una, 2015 yung hinihingi natin, di ba? Hinihinga. Oh, so, nagsimula siya 
Pero nung up, after that, wala na rin, di ba? Alright, so same experience as Tim, no? So yan, sabi, warning, JFC contains missing values. Some functions will not work. Alright? So tinan nyo, hanggang 2019, ano lang, uh, July, June 10. Tapos wala na. We don't know why, no? Yun ang... Eh, dati nga, class, when I was taking MS, ano ha, MSCF, no? Kailang yun? Ilang dekada? <laughs> Maybe a few, some years ago, no? So, hello, hello sir. Sa akin, yes? sir, hanggang December 30, 2022, sir. Oh, talaga? Yes, oh, sige nga, pa-share nga ng screen. <laughs> so, join ako <laughs> ulit. Sige, sige. Sir, Ay. sir ako later, isa-share ko rin yung screen ko kasi hanggang ngayon, nag-error ako sa get symbols pa. Oh, sige, sige. Okay lang, sige. Uh, later, sir. Opa. Yeah, yeah, sige. I-address ano, natin yan, ha? pero maganda tong discussion na to kasi uh, we're learning from each other, di ba? I hope okay lang sa inyo plus yung discussion na to kasi hindi naman to, ano, hindi naman to sprint. Marathon to work here for the whole term. So, that we better discuss yung mga things like this kasi natututunan natin to. Of course, yung project nyo, class, I'm not going to ask you to uh, to do uh, yung mga indicators using Philippine data kasi okay. sige nga, patingin nga ng code mo. Tinan mo natin yung code. Uh, tick, okay, JFC ba? Ma, ano? O nga, ano? Na, ang symbol na is equal to JFC and then, sige, palitan mo nga yung JFC na object sa 33. Palitan mo ng small JFC. Tignan na muna natin, ha? Uh, oh, sige, sige, ganito na muna. Uh, ganito na muna. Oh, sige, sige. Okay na yan. Sige. Run mo yung whole code siya, yung buo. Uh, yung buo muna. Uh, ganito muna, ERM mo muna. Uh, sa console, ERM na lang muna si ano. RM, si small JFC, at saka si Big JFC para talaga ma-check ma natin from from ayan okay so wala nang JFC ano wala na sige check natin ngayon iran mo yung buong code chunk na yan sa taas sa taas sa lang yan sige yan all right ano sabi dito warning contains missing values sige i-open mo yung ano yung JFC dito sa ano sa baba sa data. Yan, click mo yan. All right. Ayun, ganun din eh, may mga zero siya. Oh. Sige. Tapos 2019 din nagsimula, no? O nga, sir, but kan but kan in na sir hindi ganun. Ah, baka ano, baka baka palagay ko baka Apple yung na ano mo eh. 'Yun ang suspicion ko ah. Kasi baba mo, baba mo yung sa scroll down mo. And just like yung team at saka yung kay, ano, kay Jonah, pinan mo, mga NA in Asia. Ah, okay, okay. sir. Unless nagbayad ka kay Yao Pinang, bigyan ka ng secret. <laughs> <laughs> so talaga, ano, proven ta, ano na eh, three out of three na talagang ano eh, di ba? Yung video ba, sinubuka mo? Yes, sir, tinaray ka rin, sir. Oh, wala rin, no? Sige nga, video. Yes, sir, nag-work, sir. Oh, hindi rin, ano? Uh, ibig sabihin, either hindi nakuha ni Yahoo yung, uh, yung data na yun. Kasi uh, uh, kung Japan data, Japan, subukan ko na eh, nakukuha niya eh. Yung international stocks, nakukuha. China, I think, may mga stocks na nakukuha. Tapos Australia, Europe, mga uh, British, ano, British uh, stocks, nakukuha niya. Yung Philippines, medyo ano eh. As I was saying a while ago, when I was taking... CF na nagmamasters ako several uh, ages ago. Uh, Nagre-research ako ng, ano, ng stock ano din, portfolio. Tapos, kukuha ako ng, ng, ng data sa ano. Sa, historical data yun, ha? Kada ano, may bayad. Yeah, para isang page na one, one, ano, one month, 100 pesos yata. Alam, sabi ko, ilang months yung kailangan ko. Kung 10 years yung kukunin ko, so 12 times, so that's 120 times 100. That's 12,000 pesos. Sabi just to get historical data from Philippine Stock Exchange. Sabi ko, masyado nila minomote, monetize yung ano, yung, yung ganyan naman. Eh, diba? There, there's supposed to be a repository of data like this. Hindi ko lang alam kung ngayon uh, nagbago na sila ng ano. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to check with May isang faculty tayo na ano eh, na works with PSA. 
Philippine Science Post Museum. I don't know kung kasi after that uh, ano na hindi na ako na gano. <laughs> hindi na ako eh however the, 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 those were that was years ago. Okay, any any other questions class about that? Sir sa akin lahat error okay. yung kids. <laughs> Talaga. Share ko sir. Sige sige oh, go. Sir. Go sige. Uh, sino to si Rapunzel? Jonalyn po. Ah Jonal sige. So mas grabe pa yata pala kay Jonal, no? Yan, tignan natin, ha? Ayan, sir. Uh, okay. Dito, sir. Kaso, yung tick ko, naka-apple ka pa rin. Sir? Ah, yung get, could not find function get symbols, ibig sabihin yan, Jonah, hmm. hindi hmm. mo pa na-load si quant mode. Punta ka nga sa packages. Sa ilalim. Ayun, okay. ay, hindi mo pa na-check, ko. Oh. Ah, ibig okay. sabihin, hindi, hindi, wala pang library yan. Hindi mo pa na-library. Ah, okay. Ayun. So, Sige, pag nakakita kayo ng ganyan, class, could not find function, uh, automatic yan, ay, hindi pa na-load tong ano nito. Kasi remember, mm -hmm. class, if you have installed that particular package, it does not automatically mean that all the functionalities of that package will be uh, will be available. Kailangan i-load mo na siya. Okay, so ito. I-try ko ba, sir? Yung... Okay, i-try mo. Sige, tanggalin mo muna yung get symbol. Ah. Yes. Ah. O oh, oh, sige, kahit yung unang na lang muna, get symbols Apple. Ah, pero dapat AAPL yan, capital A. Sa taas. Yan lang itry mo muna. Yung unang-una, okay. ano dyan, sa row 30, gawin mo siyang capital A. AAPL. Tapos dapat naka-coach siya. Coach. Ayun. Dapat may coach siya. Yan, sige, try mo yan. Just that one. Run mo yan. Yan lang, sir, muna. Oh, control, enter. Sige. Uh, ano nangyari? Get symbols. Yan sabi dito. An A... Ah, yan. kasi APPL, sir. Ay, oo. APPL dapat. Eh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Ma, tinan mo, ha? very very sensitive si, ano, si Arthur spelling. No? So, dapat right spelling lang. Yan, naroon na yan. Yan, naroon na, no? Oh. O, tingnan mo. Ano, na, sir. Meron na. Subukan mo yung A, capital A, tapos small A. Palitan mo yung 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 second A, gawin mong small letter A. Tingnan lang natin. Sa line 30 pa rin, sir. O, line 30. Capital A, tapos, o, sige. Na, pwede mo yan. Sir. Sige, tingnan natin kung ano mangyayari. I-run mo yan. Error din yan, no? Hmm, bakit hmm. nag, ano? Uh, okay, I-RM mo nga muna. Dapat hindi magawa niyan eh. RM mo si AAPL. I-remove natin ha. Okay. Tapos, i-run mo yung una. Yung unang line. Small A, tapos capital A. Tinan mo nga. Control, enter. Oh. Nag-run, no? Okay, so dati hindi mag-run yan, no? So ito, guys, sabi natin evolution to ng ano, no? Siguro pag kahit naka-small a lang, uh, palitan mo nga, Jonah, ng, ano, ng, ng small a lahat. Okay, lahat is small a mo. Uh, Tapos i-remove mo muna yung ano, yung... Sorry, sir, yung a... Yung, uh, pati yung small letter a, a, p, a, okay. Pati yung PL, gawin mo small. Tapos i-remove muna yung, ano, yung AAP. Mm -hmm. Sa console. Sa RM, sa console. Ah, okay. okay. I-remove mo ulit. RM, yung AAPL na ano. AAP. Na all caps, sir? Oo, oh, na all caps. Kasi yun yung nasa object mo. Eh. Yan, si remove mo yan. Okay, and then i-run mo yung get symbols, AAPL. Na small letters lahat. Oo, oh, yan. Sige, i-run mo siya. Control, enter mo. Oh, nag-run. No? Okay, nag-run siya. No? Ang tinan nyo, ang, ang pangalan ng object niya, AAPL. So, this is, this is let, let's say, an improvement, quote-unquote, or a modification. Kasi dati, hindi mag-run to. So, apparently ngayon, kapag, kapag tama lang yung mga letters, 
kahit small letter yung isa anywhere there, uh, magra-run siya as far as quant mode is concerned, as far as get symbol is concerned. Kasi pag regression, no? pag magmumultiple din niya regression ka, yung variable name, ma magkamali ka lang ng nakapital mo lang isa o nag-miss out ka lang ng ano, uh, hindi na magra-run eh. Pero kanina, yung APPL, hindi siya nag-run no? kasi ibang Wrong spelling. Wrong, wrong spelling. Kasi, eh. Wrong spelling kasi. No? Yung pag wrong spelling, hindi siya magra-run. Pero, pag na small letter lang, nag-run siya ngayon. Pero dati hindi magra-run yan. Okay, so, so, medyo babaguhin ko na rin yung ano ko, yung, yung, uh, yung pag explain ko. Kasi, dati I was strict in saying na pag may isang small letter lang dyan, mag e errors <laughs> Pero ngayon, hindi na. Okay, so, pa-share ulit ako ng screen, ha? Okay, thank you, no, Jonna. Thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, so share ulit ako ng screen. Okay. Alright, so we uh, we encountered so many things here, no? Isang isang code pa lang nito. Alright, now, uh, kasi ang binibigay sa atin ng get symbols, we know that it gives us the, the body, uh, no, the, uh, yung six data. Yung, yung open, high, low, close, kasama yung volume, at saka yung adjusted. Now, you can actually just get the adjusted. Kunyari, ang gusto mo lang adjusted, ang gusto nyo lang closing, ang gusto nyo lang low, then that, that's easily done. It's a subset lang natin. So, for example, here, let's just get the uh, uh, only the closing or adjusted. No? So, kunin mo natin yung closing lang. No? Pwede rin, ano, closing and adjusted. Pwede rin yun. So let's let's put here AAPL and then let's let's just put here close, no? Closing. Kung closing lang, so paano natin iraran yan? Uh, let's assume na ito lang din. Copyin na lang natin to. Control C. Can do this. Assuming na hindi pa natin nararan to, ha? Kasi kung naran na naman natin, pwede yung AAPL. Ang, ang pinakamabilis actually class is AAPL. And then, subset lang natin. No? Subset is, comma, kung ang kailangan lang natin yung fourth. Okay, wala pa akong, meron lang akong capital A, AAPL. And then, ang kukunin ko lang yung pang anong row ba yung ano? Pang anong row yung closing? Yung fourth. No? So, I'm going to put here four. So, dito. Okay. And then, dito ko na lagay para ano. So assuming na may may uh, meron na akong AAPL na object no dito. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this object AAPL close. All right? And then alt minus and then AAPL subset pa subset, di ba? Yan. Or we can use the tidyverse in the plier. We we, we we can do the the select. No? So pakita natin no. Let's do this two ways. So, apple and then four. Okay, so now, what will happen is that it's a subset si apple. Okay, tapos lahat ng rows kasama kasi hindi natin dinefine kung anong rows. Eh. Ito, pag sa subset tayo, row number at saka column number. If we don't identify anything in the row number, then it will include all. And then ito yung column number pang apat. No? So, let's see. Control enter. And then tingnan natin yung apple close. Yan. Yung close na lang. Diba? So very, very quick way no, to, to, to navigate uh, in R. And, and maybe just to appreciate this more. So let's do this AAPL. Uh, and then close one. Not minus. Diba? We learned before yung first is AAPL. And then, naalala nyo to? Na-discuss ko na ba to? Si pipe operator? Not yet? Not yet. Ay, okay. Sige, sige. Maganda to. Maganda to. Okay? Now, sa ano, sa, sa, there's a package called Deplier. Okay, so, ang suggestion ko is you also take a look at this. So, double question mark Deplier. Small, small lang siya. Nasanay ako na dapat uh, dapat pareho yung yung case kasi sensitive nga si 
our showcase. So deep plier, no? So dito na lang. Mas mabilis nga dito eh. Uh, dito, deep plier. Oops. D fly there. Sa packages. Yan. Deep plier. Notice it's already checked. Although wala naman tayong kaninang linode na deep plier, di ba? Because this comes with the tidyverse. So pag linode natin si tidyverse, Ma maluload na rin deep plier plus the other packages light. Magbibigay lang ako ng example. Ha? I click nyo class si ggplot2. ggplot2 which is a very powerful package for data visualization. Tignan nyo. Di ba nakaklik siya? Ibig sabihin nakaload siya. Eh hindi naman natin linode to kanina, di ba? Because this comes with tidyverse. Meron Mer tinasilang tinatawag na tidyverse universe. Okay, that tidyverse universe is used. It's it's a family of packages, okay, developed by Hadley Wickham and uh, other other authors. That that's used in. Uh, so meron silang ano yung compatibilities. So uh, yung mga functionalities ng mga packages na to, this family of packages, parang ano seamless sila. S e a m l e s s. You can use that functionality in all these packages. So this is a very powerful family of packages. So and just the plier, tidy r, read r, tidy quant, I think uh, gg gg plot is part of that. No? So balikan natin si deep plier. Okay? So i click natin to All right. So this is what we call a grammar of data manipulation. I'm not so sure if you have uh, Heard of the uh, uh, term acronym SQL? Have you encountered that before? SQL. Can we chat, please? Na encounter niyo ba tong acronym na to? Yes or no? SQL. Yes, sir. Pero have no idea what it is. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, Medyo chappy. Ah, uh, hindi ko na yan, sir, pero okay. hindi ko pa narin, ah, hindi ko alam ano talagang ibig okay. sabihin. All right, thank you, Rap. How about the others? No answer means no, no. <laughs> Parang uh, yan, heard but no idea. Okay. SQL actually stands for kaso yung lang hindi natin ano yan, hindi natin focus sa subject na to kasi. Pero at least magkakaroon kayo ng idea, no? It means st structured query language. Okay, so ito yung una dati uh, nung wala pang mga uh, other softwares. Uh, software din to actually, tsaka language, yung SQL. Structured query language. And it's used for database management. So meron ka mga data. Tapos kasi dati, ang practice dati, yung IT lang may, ano, may, may quote-unquote ownership ng data. So if you're from finance, Makikiusap ka sa IT. Could you please generate this data for us? Itong, ito lang yung fields na kailangan ko. Ito lang yung mga variables na kailangan ko. Tapos makikuha yung summary niya, yung sum o yung average, etc. So dati, ang gagawa niyan si IT. Pero with the advent of freeware like this, R and other statistical packages, so ngayon, si finance now or marketing or the other or other other functionalities are empowered now to do that on their own. So hindi na kailangan pumunta ka kay ano kay kay IT para humingi ng ganung klaseng output, no? On our own, we can do that, no? Kaya na natin gawin 'yon. Which is very empowering. So hindi na tayo maghintay minsan na sometimes days or weeks, 'di ba? So, siyempre, hingi-hingi tayo ng report, kunwari ang finance. And then, but we are at the mercy of IT. So, minsan nagtatagal, but we can't use that excuse na ang tagal sa amin ibigay. So, uh, that's where structured query language comes into play. And ngayon, si R, may, mayroon siyang SQL na, ano, na capability in the form of ito, si Deployer. So, ito yung mga functionalities niya. So let me just explain one. Uh, pwede natin filter. No? Pwede natin i-filter. Uh, which means that we have a data set. 
pwede natin tanggalin yung mga rows na hindi natin kailangan. Okay? Pwede din natin i-select. Pwede natin select naman ito. Ito pakita ko lang ha para may idea lang kayo ng konti. Filter. So let's click this filter na to. Ayan. Keep rows that match a condition. So ginagamit sa filter kung gusto niyo yung data set niyo uh, i-remove yung mga rows na hindi mo kailangan. So I leave you guys to look at this example. Uh, sige, i ano na natin no? for purposes of uh, for for purposes of knowledge, no? Okay, i ano natin to, i-run natin to control C. Lalagay ko lang siya dito sa ano ha. I'm going to put here in it in the console. Okay, control B, kinopy ko lang siya. All right, ano tong code na to? Hmm? Uh, okay, bago, bago natin i-run to, okay, idadagdag ko data, okay, Star Wars para may idea tayo, and then semicolon na lang. Alright, data Star Wars, <clears throat> okay, data Star Wars, ito lang i-run ko. Highlight ko lang to data Star Wars, control enter. So, you will find here, ito no? Ayan. Lalabas si data ni Star Wars. 87 observations, 14 variables. So this comes with, ano, with the, uh, uh, anong, uh, ggplot to yata to, or dplyr. This comes with the dplyr package. So, as I said before, some packages in R come with cert certain data sets no? uh, for use, for, for example, use. Okay, so ito, si data set ni Star Wars, so we might not, uh, of course I'm just giving an example no so kunyari gusto kong gusto kong ano ang gusto kong i-filter to na data na to SQL no structured query language gusto ko uh, ang binigay ng example dito ang species dapat human okay kasi kung if i run structure str structure star wars we can see here that Ano ba yung mga data na to? Hmm? Dami. So, ano ba yung data na laman ni Star Wars? Andito si species. Ayan, species. Tapos, ano siya, no? Character, andyan si may human, may droid, whatever, no? Si iba-ibang laman niya, si species. Now, if I want to filter this, gusto ko ang lumabas lang na data, yung ano lang, yung mga human lang. So, ibig sabihin niya, gusto kong bawasan yung mga rows, no? Based on a certain variable. Gusto ko, ano lang siya, yung, yung human lang yung laman niya. Okay? So, we can do that by the filter function. Alright. So, arrow up. Okay, ito, no? So, i-run ko lang ito, ha? Ito lang muna. Filter, Star Wars, Control C ko lang muna. Okay. So, ano nangyari? Nag-run siya. Oh, wait. Hindi pa. So, dapat, kinopy ko yung code na yon. Control V. Okay. Kinopy ako na filter. Yung data natin, Star Wars species, dapat human. Ilagyan ko lang ng pangalan to. S1. Para makita natin, no? Control enter and then we have now have this S1. Alright, ano lang niya? If you take a look at the species, Latin human na. Okay, so very easy, no? Very easy to do SQL structured query language. Very easy to filter. Atawag, others call this data wrangling. Data wrangling. You wrangle with the data. You you clean, you tidy, kung ano yung kailangan mo, yun ang ilagay mo. Huh? Alright, so filter yun. Balik tayo sa example natin kanina. Kung gusto lang natin yung, ano, yung, yung closing lang, we can do that. No? Instead of uh, this one, pwedeng, so the way to go about this is, i-write muna natin yung unang object. So, we start with this object, AAPL. Now, i-type nyo nga ito, class, percent greater than percent. 
Okay. Sa deep plier, ito very important tong symbol na yan. So percent greater than percent, this is called your pipe operator. Okay, pasensya na klasa ha. Sa discussion natin, nagdadagdag na ako ng mga ano, ng mga lessons which not might not be related in a way to to uh, trading soft well related siya sa trading software kasi ano to eh but not necessarily yung yung sa portfolio no Port portfolio optimization pero these are functionalities that are very important all right so pipe operator to now this is very powerful yung pipe operator kasi ang ibig sabihin nito and then yan ibig sabihin niyan and then uh, in other words sa tagalog pagkatapos okay ayan ang ibig sabihin niyan so sabi natin simulan niya si apple pagkatapos okay, anong gagawin kay apple all right ah uh, uh, sige class ah uh, uh, wait ah uh, tinype na to di ba right Yes, sir. I-type yes, nyo nga, sir. ano, ah, mahaba kasi yun, percent greater than percent. Ang shortcut niyan, control shift m Ay, sorry. Pag nag-control shift m kayo, ano yung lalabas? Sa Mac, ah, command, command shift m yata. No? Mac users, command shift m Sa so Windows, control shift m What appears? Ano lumabas, class? Yung pipe yes, sir. Um, Yan, okay. Percent greater than percent. Yan, okay. So, control, shift, plus M. Yun ang shortcut, ha? In case na gamitin nyo uh, for some other. Or sa Mac. Sa Mac, sino yung Mac users? Command, plus shift, plus M, di ba? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Alright, kay Mac to. Ito kay Windows, no? All right. Okay, so uh, notice, ito na yung bagong pipe operator. Pipe and then greater than. Hindi pinalitan na yung ano, pinalitan na to. So, gusto yung gawing ganito din yung ano, yung shortcut nyo. Ayaw nyo, di wag. <laughs> yes, sir. Paano, sir? <laughs> Siyempre, kailangan modern na rin tayo, di ba? Kailangan ko ano yung in Susundan na rin natin. Although ginagamit pa rin naman itong percentage greater than percent. So palitan natin yung ano yung pipe operator natin para in tayo. No? Ano yung ginagamit ngayon sa R. So you go to tools. Okay. Tools and then global options. Alright. Are you able to follow? And then code. Okay, and then you can you can see here, use native pipe operator, pipe greater than. Ito na yung bago. No? So you click nyo siya. Just click that, and then you apply nyo. And then try again. Okay. So you okay ko na to. And then try again. Palitan nyo to. And then control shift m then ito na yung magiging ano okay paki chat naman please kung uh, naka naka in na tayo sa ano sa bagong pipe operator okay sir okay good good all right so ayan na no tapos okay thank you all right so punta na tayo sa susunod pagkatapos niyan Sabi kasi natin, uh, start with Apple and then select. Okay, si select tinan nyo, saan nanggaling siya? Kay deep liar. Alright? Kay deep liar siya nanggaling. Okay, sige. Tapos, select ano? Select. Take note, hindi na natin kailangan sabihin Apple kasi alam niya na manggagaling kayo. Ano ba yung mga ano ni Apple? Ano ba yung mga ano ba yung mga variables niya, di ba? Ito, aapl.close. 
ilagay natin yun. Ang gusto lang natin i-select, pag-select, row lang. So, A, uh, wait, ha? A, A, P, L, dot, let's, let's, let's check kung dapat naka, naka-code siyata dapat, no? Alright. So, itong code na to, A, A, P, L, close one, it's Apple, and then, you select, Apple dot close. Now, itong piping na to, Napakahalaga nito. This is very important, especially when you have multiple processes. Mungang ito, mungang pwede natin sabihin na, hey, but, but pa tayo magpa, why will we make it difficult? In fact, itong brackets lang, itong subset, pwede na yun eh. Okay, itong example na ito, pwede ano, sabihin natin mas madali itong, ano, itong brackets na ito. But, if we were doing multiple processes, ah, hands down talaga, magpipe ka. Kasi kung i, hindi naman pa pwedeng i-sensing, pag mara, kung maraming process na one by one step at a time, mahaba yung coding na yun. Pero pag ganitong nakapipe siya, tuloy-tuloy yan. Kasi mag end then ka lang. Kunyari, select. Uh, Tinan muna natin kung mag-run to ha. Oh, mukhang mali yung syntax ko. No, applicable method. Ay, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, I stand corrected, no? So for this one, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, itong select pala, hindi siya pwede kapag XTS object. Okay, pero what I meant was, uh, at least na-illustrate ko sa inyo na pag yung kanina, di ba, napakita ko naman eh. Uh, okay. So, sige, babalik na lang ako sa example ko kanina. No? So, Sorry ah, mali yung ano ko, mali yung yung ano ko yung uh, example, no? Kasi hindi pala pwede, sabi dito, hindi pa hindi ba, hindi pa dumating yung point na na pwede mo ma-apply yung yung select function sa isang XTS or zoo object. So balikan lang natin yung kanina, no? I'll I'll create S1 again uh, just for the purposes of ano, of uh, of discussion. So magsisimula ako ng Star Wars. Okay? Control Shift M and then, di ba? Ano yung ginawa natin kanina? And then filter natin, di ba? Ito, di ba? Ito. Control C. Filter natin. Yan. Okay, ito hindi na natin kailangan, no? Yung filter Star Wars ay hindi na natin kailangan yan kasi na-identify na natin na start with Star Wars and then i-filter natin and then control shift M. Pwede tayong mag-select ngayon, select. Select. Sino ba yung pwede natin i-select? Kunyari si ano lang, si Hype lang. Select C, height lang. Uh, okay, hindi. Select C, uh, C, C height, tapos C, uh, C name, C height. At saan siya, sama natin si species. Okay, what are we doing here? Close natin. Okay, tinan niyo itong code na to, no? So, ang sinasabi natin dito, you start with Star Wars. And then, i-filter niya. Remember, pag pinifilter, di ba? Binabawasan ng rows. Ang isasama lang niya, yung species dapat human. And then, Piliin lang niya yung mga columns. Remember, pag-select, yung ano lang niya, yung columns lang. Ang pipiliin lang niya, si name, may kulang tayo kay height. Dapat si height may si height at saka si species. Yung tatlo lang columns yun ang ipapasok niya. Okay? S1, create natin, control, enter. Alright, ano nangyari? Tinan natin si S1. Ayun o, oh, kita nyo kagad, three variables. Diba? Yan si S1. Ayan. Si name lang, 
si height lang at saka si species lang. So lahat yan, species human. Check, class. Thank you. About the others, uh, feel, feel, feel free to ask questions, class. Huh? Okay, good. So hopefully I'm with this, with this, uh, itong mga add-ins na ano natin na discussions. Hopefully may encourage kayo na ano, to really uh, learn more about R. Kasi uh, actually wala nang ano eh, walang, there should be no hindrance for you to to keep on learning R. Kasi the, the uh, information, the web is awash with so many, with so many tutorials, with so many uh, materials about this. So, ang pipigil na lang yung ang magiging concern na lang natin yung time natin ng tingnan yung mga ano yung mga uh, what what's out there in the in the uh, in the in the cloud, no? All right. So, balikan natin to, no? So, uh, very sorry for this. I forgot that hindi pa pala prepare gamitin to sa ano sa sa Okay. Yung select hindi siya prepare kapag XTS. All right. So, two ways, no? Either that one. Okay, tapos, hindi ko nabibigay yung, ano, yung paano kong adjusted. Eh, di ano lang to. Diba? Uh, oh, wait. Dito. Ano yung ano na? Okay, dito. Uh, get symbols. Uh, tapos, tick. From. Ganun din, no? Apple close. Ito to. Okay, ito. Ang assumption natin dito. Okay. Ganun din, no? So dito, our assumption is that uh, we have not yet downloaded Apple. Okay? So what I mean is when we start with this one, ito, yung tick is equal to Apple. Dito, pwede nang direct, diretso na Apple close. And then, bracket sa lang natin, comma 4. Uh, in other words, if you only really want to download the closing prices or the adjusted prices, eh, di diretso mo na, no? Okay? Kunwari, hindi mo naman kailangan yung buong data set. You don't need this. Okay, what you need is only yung close. Eh, di pwede mong diretso na na, ano, na when you when you run it, when you download it, then, then, uh, ito na, no? You can use this. I-bracket mo na siya, i-subset mo na siya. Okay. Pag weekly, ano mababago? Uh, well, ang weekly, ano lang? Okay, copy natin to. Control C, Control B, and then, lagay natin dito, Apple Weekly. Magbabago lang sa periodicity. So, weekly, and then dito nga pala, lagay natin dito, auto, that assign, is equal to false. Okay, ilagayin ko na lang, no? Although sa, we discovered already na pwede siya. Kahit wala yung, uh, ano nga ba to? Nakalimutan ko. Um, okay ba to? Yung pag walang auto, that assign? Ah, hindi, no? Hindi siya um okay. Anong nangyari? Uh, in a APL pa rin niya to, no? Tapos ito, ginawalan niyang ano, ginawalan niyang uh, character. Alright? So, we just change the, the, ano, the auto that assign. Okay, run natin to. And then we now have uh, Apple Weekly. No? Ito. And let's see. Okay, what, what date did are you starting? Anong date sa inyo? Sir, pwede patiin ulit nung patiin po ulit nung command. Sorry po. <laughs> Nagmamadali ako. No? <laughs> Yan, Apple Weekly. Kinapi ko lang actually yung nasa taas. Pinalitan ko lang yung Apple ng Apple underscore weekly. Ganun okay. din. Get symbols. Symbols is equal to take from start to end. Periodicity is weekly. Then auto that assign is equal to false. Can you tell me, class, kung ano yung date ang simula nyo ng ano, Apple Weekly? 
Ako sir, error eh. Error? Oo, oh, talaga. Sige nga, i-ang natin. Stop share ako ha. Pakishare ulit sa mm-hmm. screen lang. Okay, sir. Sige. Okay, Apple Weekly gets involved. Okay. Okay, tama naman yung ano. No? Tanggalin ko ba sir yung auto dot? Okay, yeah, wag muna. Sina natin. Ah. Attic not found. So, yun o, sa, sa ano, sa object tick not found. So, akit nga ulit. I-run mo yung, yung tick na date mo. Go up. Uh, go up. So, wala yung tick. No? At saka yung Pacman mo, hindi yung panalaw. Ah, Uh, i-run mo ulit yung tick sa taas yan. Sige, sige. 44. Punta ka lang dyan. Control enter. 44. Yan. Dito sir. O, i-run mo na rin yung, yung tick start at saka yung baka kasi parang wala sa data mo yun. Hmm. Pati wala yung sa, start sir? Oo. Wala din siya. Hindi ko makita. Run mo nga yung ayan o. Oh. Kanina wala yung start. Diba? At saka yung end. Yan. So ngayon andyan dyan na. So you can now run that. Control enter. Sige. Yan. Okay na siya, no? Pakicheck na yung Apple Weekly mo. Could you kind of... Ah, ito, ito, ito. Sige. I-view natin siya. 1-1. Okay. Yung iba, 1-1 ba rin? Pakicheck nga kung ano yung start date niyo. Same po. Same. Okay, how about the others? Siya, ulit ako na screen, ha? Yes, sir. Same. Okay, sir. Okay, same. Alright. Ang ano ko lang, ang, ano, ang uh, dis, na, na, na-discover na rin. Eh. Kasi, uh, check muna natin kung ano, ha? Yung Apple price natin, 1, 2, eh. Okay, 1, 2. Diba? Yung Apple price is yun, yung ano, January. Did it start at January 1 or January 2? Huh? January 1, sir. January 1? Oh. Okay. Bakit kaya? Sa akin kasi nagsisimula sa 2. Eh. Let me... Let, ulit ko si Apple. Ha? Let, me, let, let me remove muna si Apple. <clears throat> And then, uh, para pareho tayo ng date. Okay. I-run ko to. Okay, tick, apple, okay, date. Alright, run po nga ito. Then, let me see apple. AAPL. So, let's see AAPL ko. Ano ito? Okay. Hmm? Okay, I'm starting with January 2. Ako rin, sir. January 2, sir. Yung iba, January 1. Guys, sino sa inyo January 1? Sir, sa akin, sir, yung AAPL, January 3. Ah, January 3 naman. <laughs> oh, medyo, yung kaninang AAPL, sir. Oh, pero, uh, January 3 ang 2015. Ah, hindi, sir. Ito ah, i-run mo to. Kasi yung AAPL na una, ano yun, yung, yung default niya na 2007. Uh, run this school code, code jump. Itong ano lang, yung from 2015-0101 to 2022-1231. Tapos ilagay natin dito, auto.assign, para mag, mag-create siya ng object na ano, is equal to false. Sandali lang ha, anoy ko lang tong doggy namin.
Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> so, a- anong nagsimula yung sa ano nyo? Yung sa Apple mismo. Yung ano ah, yung... Okay, iran po ulit to. Para AAPL, ito AAPL. Hmm? Uh, ang start po kasi 102. January 2 na sir. Okay, yung sa iba... January 2 na rin sir. January 2 na rin, no? Pero, pag ano naman, pag weekly naman, okay, kunin natin weekly. Uh, ito, yung Apple Weekly nga. I-try nyo nga. Apple Weekly, get symbols, no? tick. Pareho din, no? Pareho din start date natin, ending date. And then weekly siya, auto data sign is equal to false. Para makaya itong Apple Weekly. I-run natin. All right. Ano yung start nyo? <clears throat> January 1. January 1. January 1, di ba? Dito ako nagtataka, no? Bakit yung yung Apple, hindi ko pa ma-decipher kung bakit 1-2 siya nagsimula. Pero yung weekly, uh, weekly is, asya na si weekly? Weekly is 1-1. I-check na natin kung anong date to. Do you know how to check? Ito kailangan din natin as finance people. Kailangan natin to yung ano yung isang very important package. Did I discuss with you yung lubricate package? Palagay ko nung nag-data structure tayo, I think na-discuss. Yes, sir. We did. Diba? We did, diba? Sige, i-load natin yun. Tapos tignan nila natin kung anong date to. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, dito natin ilagay para ano, para... I think may nag-question ako dito sa inyo. Alright, dito. So, what days are used as weekly days? So, tingnan muna natin yung day one niya. Day one niya is iba 2015 tapos 01 01, di ba? Right? Tama ba? Awa din niya. Ah, yung weekly date, ang nagsimula siya sa ano eh. December 1, ah, January 1, 2015. Gusto natin malaman ko anong date to. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we identify first the day. Okay, day 1, enter natin. So if we check kung lumabas na si day 1 sa mga objects natin. Uh, okay, control enter pala. Control enter. Yan, lumabas na si day 1. I-check ko lang din kung ano yung class nito. Class ni day 1. <clears throat> class ni day 1 is character siya. No? Alright, then what I'm going to do, what we're, what, let's do, let's uh, Let's load library ni Lubridate. Uh, na-load na natin dati ito. Na-install natin. Control X. Ilagay ko siya dito sa taas. <clears throat> I-load natin si Lubridate para malaman natin kung anong day. Okay. So, i-convert muna natin si day 1. Day 1. Alt minus. Gawin natin siyang year, month, day. Kasi itong function na to, di ba? Year, month, day. Yun yung magko-convert sa isang character. Character kasi itong day one. And then gamitin natin si Lubridate. Uh, remember, this is from Lubridate. No? Yan, dinagay ko lang para alam natin na just to recall that this is from Lubridate. Very powerful si si Lubridate sa ano sa mga ano sa mga sa mga dates, no? Okay, so day one, kinonvert natin into year, month, day. Tapos, tingnan natin yung, saman natin yung class ulit. Class ni day one. Pinagsama ko na sa isang line. So, if you notice, no, si day one, UTC na siya. No? Universal Time Convention. Tapos, ang type na date siya. You can see here the output. Na ang class ni date, ni day one, kanina, character yan eh. Tapos ngayon, naging date na. Kasi kinonvert natin into YMD. All right? Now, we can now use the weekday function. Weekday, day one. Tapos, uh, label is equal to true. So, uh, this is how you can get the uh, day, weekday of a particular date. Control, enter. So, it's a Thursday. Okay. It's a Thursday. <clears throat> yung, 
one. Pero usually, pag kinukuha yung weekly prices ni sa Yahoo, <coughs> it's usually a Friday. So Friday na gaan, nag, nag kinukuha yung prices. Pero ito, <coughs> sa Apple Weekly dito, Thursday yung ano niya, Thursday yung... So ito yung hindi ko pa nadi-discover. I want to really... Kasi first time nangyari sa akin to, no, na usually pag kinukuha ko yung weekly prices, it's uh, always a Friday. Okay, kinukuha niya yung Friday prices. So, nung chine-check ko to, just for curiosity sake, no, chine ko lang yung, ano, yung day. Ng, kasi nagtaka ako na yung Apple prices, nagsisimula sa uh, January 2. Pero nung kinuha ko na yung weekly, nagsimula na sa, sa January 1. So siguro talaga pag nasa syntax talaga uh, pag kung ano yung sinabi mong date no? kasi start 11 yun ang gagawin niya talaga no? Ito kasi sinabi natin 11 tapos pag sinabi natin weekly then talagang yun ang i-start niya na ano na na, na day Okay uh, experiment ko lang to ah Gawin natin from, okay, gawin natin ano, 2014, and then December, and then 15. Tingnan lang natin kung ano mangyayari. Ha. Pinalitan ko lang yung from ng December, uh, December 15, 2014. Tingnan natin kung yung weekly niya magsisimula on this specific date. No? Okay, run ko lang to ha. Okay. So, dun nga, ano? Dun nga. And then, if I check yung weekday ni uh, ni YMD year month date ni December uh, 20, ano? 2014 12, 15, and pinagsama ko na sa isa, label is equal to true. Okay, what am I doing here? Kinuha ko yung weekday ng year month date na 2014, December 15, label is equal to true. It will give us the, uh, nag-error nag, nag siya, no? Weekday, Year, month, date. Tama naman dapat. Year, month, day. Ano mali dito? After nung, ano sir, 15 may... Sorry, this is not right. Ay, oo. Ay. Year, month, day. Oo. Wait, ha? Dapat may parenthesis dito, ano? Ah, oo, tama. Yes, tama, sir. tama. Yes, correct. Thank you. <clears throat> And napaka-sensitive si Ara, no? Isang mali yung, ano? Tapos minsan hindi pa niya sasabihin kung ano. <laughs> Talagang hahanapin mo. Ano nga ba sa mga ba akong nagkabalik? Control, enter. Error pa rin. Sir, yung sa may T after nung T, sir. Tanggalin ah, yung na, na doble yung ano. Sinecheck ko lang kayo, ha? <laughs> Dahil mali talaga ako. <laughs> hindi ko na-check. Monday siya. Okay. Monday. So, ito yung ano. Ito yung... Uh, kapag nag-weekday ka, okay? Nag-weekly ka, Week, on periodicity weekly, it will not necessarily mean na Friday. So, if you need weekly prices talaga, okay, kailangan, kailangan malama mo kung ano, yung, kung ano yung day na yun. So, going back to our Apple, Apple weekly, no? okay, uh, ibalik ko to, ah. from is equal to start. Okay. So, bumalik tayo na 1-1. If you really need that the weekly prices should be uh, every Friday. Kasi misa may mga ganun studies na dapat yung, yung weekly prices should end on a Friday. Okay? I've seen so many researchers na ganun yung ginagawa nila. Yung weekly prices ends on a, at the end of the week. Friday. So, uh, we will just have to tinan nyo kung ano yung date ng simula ng ano nito. And then, you'll just have to define kung ano yung start. 
if you want the date to be mag, well mag just mag, either you make uh, you can change this <clears throat> okay so i can make this two two and just for this just for this yung apple weekly i run ko to okay and then we will now see apple weekly yan ay wait ano nangyari? Bakit 1-1 one, one pa rin? I-remove ko nga muna si ano, yung ano. Minsan kasi hindi siya mag-ano eh. Minsan ayaw niya i-overwrite. I, i okay. Remove ko siya. So wala, nung, wala ng up, Apple Weekly. And then, ah, hindi ko rin nanto kanina. Okay. So I didn't run this. Rinan ko lang diretso yun. So i-run ko muna to. Yung tick, yung start, at saka yung end. And then, I go here to Apple Weekly. Magra-run na to, no? Kasi na-redefine na natin yung start. Check natin dito. Start is, yan. January 2. Kanina, pinalitan ko lang, hindi ko siya rinan. So that's why, hindi siya nag -ano, Hindi siya nag-change. Run natin. Apple Weekly. Okay, so tinan natin si Apple Weekly. Ay! Bakit hindi pa rin na gano? Start and weekly. Okay, nag-change ba sa inyo, class? Same pa rin, sir. 1-1 one, one pa rin, ano? Yes, sir. Okay, kanina, nag-change yan eh. Naging 1-2 one, one, eh. Okay. So... In, now, hindi ko alam kung bakit. No? I will have to admit that. I will have to check dun sa syntax itong, ano, itong weekly kung anong binibigay niya. Okay, so what you can do with this is what we can do is just i-research natin kung ano yung default niya pag nag-weekly. Kasi dati, ang alam ko, na-research ko na dati ito. Eh, no? uh, it, it normally gives a uh, end of the week, Friday kapag weekly. So, upon checking a while ago, kanina, no? This morning, I was checking this. Uh, I noticed that hindi siya nag-Friday. So, na na nagulat ako. So, uh, yun. Up to now, to be honest with you, hindi ko pa alam. Even if we change already yung start natin, iba ginawa na natin uh, February, uh, uh, January 2. And January 2 is natin na. Asa na ba yung ano kanina? January 2 asan yung ito ano okay. well Thursday kasi si January 1 therefore uh, alam natin na January 2 will be ano run mo to okay, Friday siya no? <clears throat> and in case class in case uh, uh, kunyari sa project no, kailangan pag weekly price yung pinagamit Friday dapat so we will have to make sure that the the, the prices are on Fridays, no? para ending of the week. Okay. So uh, to be honest with you, first time ko na encounter na nag ano siya, nag uh, nag end siya not on a Friday. Okay. So for now, for now I I haven't uh, been able to. Uh, discover ko ano uh, answer doon. No? So, it means just looking more at the syntax ni Weekly ko ano ba yung ginagamit niya. Alright? Any questions about that class? Oh, ito naman, i-ano natin si ano. Ibalik natin si ano ha. Balik ulit natin si 1-1 one -one dito. Okay? Run ko lang ulit to. Yan ang kagandahan class ng ano nang gumagawa tayo ng ano ano ng ganitong mga mga names oh but nag error error unexpected in symbol ah wala akong ah okay na hindi ko na highlight kanina yung yan. hindi ko na highlight yung yung quotes all right so for monthly tingnan natin to ah I control C, copy lang natin to. 
control V, and then you just replace it by monthly. Uh, hopefully, uh, ito sana uh, hindi tayo magkaka problema na in the ending of the month. No? Na, kanina hindi ko naman na encounter to. Na yung problem na to. So, Apple monthly. Run natin. Then let's check this. Alright. Uh, dito, well, uh, okay naman to. Instead of ending of the month, beginning of the month, no problem yun. Dito, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1. I haven't tried kung kunyari kung magsisimula tayo at 12 uh, at a date other than the first. Kunyari 12 14. Uh, experiment yun lang tinan niyo kung magiging 12 15, 1 14, 2 14 ba. No? Kung ganun yung magiging ganun yung magiging output. <clears throat> All right. So any questions so far class? Any questions about this? Yung nuances ng ano ng pagkuha ng weekly, monthly, daily prices. So we're spending some time here for sabi natin mastery of uh, getting symbols, getting daily, weekly, and monthly symbols. Alright? Uh, Pachat naman, please. Uh, please kung clear so far. Any concerns? Any questions? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Good. All right. Now, what we have done so far is to get uh, the price of one singular stock. Isa lang naman yung tinignan natin. Pero, pwede natin kunin yung, ano, yung, yung not one, but several, several stocks. So, how do we do that? Create din tayo ng, ano, create din tayo ng object. Best to create an object. And identify natin, kunyari, as... Uh, any name you want. Uh, gawin natin kunyaring uh, uh, kanina. Gawin natin tickers na lang. Tickers. Alt minus. Alright. And then this tickers, copy, copy natin to. Control C. Control D. And it's a vector. Oops. It's a vector. And then kailangan may ano to, no? May mga quotes. Hindi pwedeng wala. Right. I, I named the mga exchange traded funds to, no? I'll just leave you guys to research kung ano tong mga uh, ano tong mga ETFs na to. Kunyari SPY, alam natin na tinatrack ni to si ano si SNP. Itong ano itong uh, itong EFA this is Europe, uh, Australia and the Far East. This is from MSCI. Are you familiar with MSCI class? Yes, sir. Uh, diba, si Morgan Stanley, no? Capital, ito? Incorporated ba ito? Capital something. Alright. So, si MSCI kasi si Morgan Stanley nag-create nag itong mga indices siya. Eh. Okay. Itong EFA sa kanila yan. Okay. And then, I, I leave you guys to explore what IJ is. EAM is and AGG. AGG. Alright. So, <clears throat> with this, uh, gawa tayo ng ano, ng, okay, take a look at this. Okay, you may not understand this now, pero this is an example of, of how to create a function. Okay, so uh, let's not discuss, kasi medyo tatagal tayo kung, kung papano, ano, ano, papano kinukuha to. But it's actually just simple, no? For ticker in tickers. <clears throat> so ginamit natin tong uh, capital T na to, ticker, in tickers. So this is our object, portfolio prices. And then, column bind. No? Column bind natin, ibig sabihin, pinagsama sa isang column. Ano mga pinagsama sa isang column? Itong object na portfolio prices. This one. Na initially null siya. Walang laman, no? Walang laman muna yung portfolio prices, pero ipapopulate natin ng... So, si portfolio prices will be a combination of column, column bind, pinagsama-sama sa isang column, ano? 
get symbols. Okay? Get symbols that Yahoo is just the same as get symbols. Kasi ang default naman Yahoo. Dinagay ko lang to para medyo may idea kayo. No? Na ang get symbols is the same as get symbols uh, that Yahoo. And then, in-identify natin yung ticker. Ito. Okay, but ticker is in tickers. And tickers is this one. Okay? So ticker, and then from start, we have we already identified yung start to yung end then periodicity daily. Auto data sign is equal to false. And then we're get, getting the fourth, fourth column. This is a fourth column na mga get symbols, which are your closing prices. Okay? So this will generate uh, a data for an XTS object containing lahat ng mga closing prices ng SPY, EFA, IJAS, EEM, at saka AGG. No? Alright, so this is a lot faster kasi pinagsama na natin sa isa kaysa yung isa-isahin natin okay, get the uh, closing price of SPY, of EFA, IJS, etc. And then saka natin i-co-columbine. No? Iisa-isahin natin ito for ticker in tickers, dinefine natin to yung tickers natin. Okay, so this is a uh, a very uh, powerful way to uh, to extract yung mga closing prices from this from this data set, from this uh, tickers object. So go, iran natin tong tickers na to. Run natin siya, check natin kung ano dito si tickers ha. So it's a vector, no? Tickers, character vector of spy EFA. So gagamitin dito yan. Yung ticker okay is defined as ticker in tickers. So All right. So i-run natin to and then let's see what happens. Tingnan natin ngayon si nag-generate tayo ng portfolio prices. It will take some a bit of uh din naman ganun katagal. Kasi kukunin niyan sa ano sa Yahoo Finance, no? Then iisa-isa niya, maglulup siya dun sa mga limang ano, limang prices, limang uh, stocks, and then kukunin niya yung yung closing prices nila. Okay. So kanina yung portfolio prices natin null. Ngayon yung portfolio prices so, natin ano. So paki paki ano nga class, do you have it now? Yung portfolio prices natin? Yes sir. Okay. Now, how about the rest? Yes sir. Okay, good. So if I tinan niyo, mga closing prices na siya. Diba? Okay, good. Thank you. Of course, if you want yung, ad yung adjusted prices, then kagawin yung 6 to. So this is really very flexible. Tapos, uh, you can make this 10 stocks. No? 10 stocks yan. So, uh, I mean, pepe din 10 stocks yan. It might take uh, a bit, uh, a few seconds uh, longer, pero it does the job. No? You're able to collect the closing prices. Okay, and create an object out of it here. Yeah, so we can now manipulate this. Okay, so it's always good to check for missing values kasi katulad nung, kung yung Jollibee yung chain like natin, diba, ang daming missing values, you can actually check. Kasi kung ilang observations yan. Uh, okay, so there are 2014 observations. So medyo mahirap kung kung uh, visually titingnan natin kung kung uh, visually titingnan natin kung ano yung mga ano yung mga missing values. Okay? So the best way is let's run a simple code. Simple code lang naman, no? Meron tayong tinatawag na code ng ano ng uh, one way to do it, there are different ways is kunin natin yung ano yung sum ng mga NA dito. Pahanapin natin kay R 
yung mga NA tapos i-sum up niya. Kung may sum yung mga NA, ibig sabihin meron 'yon. Kung wala, kung kung walang ano, wala, kung sinum up niya tapos wala, then ibig sabihin walang walang ano, walang uh, walang NA. So the function is call yun yung call s, yun yan no? Call sums. Ayan, tingnan niyo class. From row and column sums and means for numeric arrays or data frames. So we can use this. Ba? Column sums. Tapos, gawin natin, ang ipapa, ano natin, column sums natin, portfolio, yung prices, no? Diba? Uh, pero ito, kung column sums ang portfolio prices, i-run lang natin ito. Ang mangyayari niyan, sinamap niya, no? which hindi naman yung kailangan natin. Ang ginawa niya, sinum up niya yung column niya. So, sum up ng spike lows, ito. No? Pero ang hindi yan ang gusto natin, ang gusto natin yung is dot na. Open parenthesis, and then close natin. <clears throat> so, what are we saying here? Column sums ng mga na ng portfolio prices. Okay? Could you kindly check please, class? Kung ano yung lumabas nito? Puro zero, sir. Okay, so what does that mean? Walang NA. Walang NA, yon. Kailangan natin yan kasi pag magko-compute tayo ng returns, mag, pag, tapos, pag may NA, uh, mag-error. No? Of course, we can use that NA.RM is equal to true. Pero uh, part of data, part of data... Uh, exploratory data analysis is to check kung may mga missing values ba yung data natin. So mukhang wala naman. If I run this, I also get zeros. No? Alright. Now, uh, yung unang gagawin natin, so di ba mag-create tayo ng portfolio and then we're going to compare it with a benchmark. So we're going to use yung mga ano mga natutunan yun na metrics class sa 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 mga subjects niya sa ano sa sa ibang sa ibang fin subject mo what metrics have you learned about about uh, assessing the portfolio the uh, return either of a single asset or of, of a portfolio sir yung common sharp ratio sorry ayan sharp ratio pwede no so ano pa Janssen's Al Janssen's alpha pwede rin so gamitin natin yan as dito si sharp ratio kaya sa ilalim tayo dito uh, sa ilalim uh, although hindi natin aabutin to no uh, pero we are going to discuss this yan dinagay ko na Jans Jensen's alpha sharp ratio kasama yung yung beta yung yung uh, metric ng ano ng ng uh, relative risk ng asset natin or portfolio natin to the market no <laughs> and we will define the market as ano ba usually ang ginagamit na sa US, sa traders, ang ginagamit na lang ng market. It's usually S&P 500. Okay, so yun ang ginagamit na market as a representative of the whole stock. Of the whole stock market. <clears throat> so we're going to use that uh, in order to compare the performance of our portfolio. So magkakrate tayo ng portfolio of this five assets, okay, yung spy natin, yung EFA, etc. Okay, so let's first, i-ano muna natin, ha? ang kagandahan nito, yung benchmark natin, yung market natin, makukuha din natin sa Yahoo Finance. Okay, so, tawagin natin benchmark. Okay, let's call it benchmark. <clears throat> and then, what's the ticker symbol for uh, for uh, standard, standard and tools? SPX. Sorry? SP? SPX. Sa Yahoo? Sa Yahoo Finance? SPX. SPX ba? Sure kayo? SPX. Check nyo nga ticker symbol for ano. Kasi parang iba yung alam ko. Ang alam ko kasi, uh, ito. No? Itong, ito yung ticker symbol ni... Can I check please kung ano? If it's... Parang iba yung SPX. Ibang ano yata? Ibang infection. Pero standard and course mismo yung buo, 
uh, as far as Yahoo Finance is concerned, eh? can you check please, I Google nyo nga please, ano yung ticker symbol for S&P 500 as used in Yahoo Finance? Para ma-check lang natin kung ano. Is it SPX or GSPC? And then with ano, with the uh, with uh, the accent. GSPC. GSPC, no? So validated. Tapos with ano, with the uh, with the carrot. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so validated. Ha? Ito yung SG, GS, carrot GSPC is the ticker symbol uh, used in Yahoo for Standard & Poor's. So, ganun din. No? I-am natin siya. Let's get the uh, prices naman. Bench, let's call it benchmark prices. So, gagamitin din natin uh, to get symbols. Okay, tapos symbols is equal to benchmark. No? Tapos from uh, is equal to ganun din. Para, 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 para tayo. 2 is equal to N. Uh, and then uh, periodicity daily then. And then uh, okay. Tama. Gamitin natin auto data sign ulit. Is equal to false. Yan. Okay. So symbols natin uh, is equal to benchmark which we identified here. Start and uh, end na identify na natin yun. Okay. So also the advantage of this kasi uh, for consistency kasi minsan baka magkamali ka sa pag ano ng date dito, di ba? Kung iba-iba yung date, eh, kailangan natin pare-pareho yun. Alright? So if we run this, we should have now yung benchmark prices natin ni Standard & Poor's. Okay. So walang problema dun sa daily prices natin kasi yung Apple natin kanina is also, it also started with, ano, no? With, uh, okay, January 2. So, walang problema. January 2, okay? All right. <clears throat> okay, we're able to get this class? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, pwede mo extend ng konti, class? Okay lang ba? Konti lang. Okay, sir. Ma Maandulan natin yung mga returns, no? Uh, May tapos, question? Yes, yes. Go ahead. Ano yung, yung ginawa po natin? Yung, like, yung benchmark. Sorry, sorry. Uh, yung Para sa ito? Ito to? Yeah. I mean, what does this mean, sir? Ah, okay. We're downloading. Yung generate natin. We're, we're downloading yung prices ni Standard & Poor's, no? Bakit? Kasi later on, i-evaluate natin yung portfolio natin. I-compare natin sa performance ng market. Yung market natin si S&P 500. Okay, so that's, uh, uh, if you recall yung, yung I hope you have discussed in your other subjects, yung capital asset pricing model. Okay, yung CAPM, uh, it's a theoretical framework that tells us that we can we can uh, compute for the returns of an asset. Pwedeng returns ng natin, portfolio natin. Okay? And see how it compares with the market. And kasi yung, uh, if you're going to benchmark it with the market, dapat may market tayo. And what's being used is usually yung S&P 500, which is, okay. a, which is a basket of around 500 stocks. I think 400 plus, almost 500 stocks, no? About, nagbabago bago yan. Minsan 500, minsan less than, but close to 500. Okay, and so, yung six na stocks natin kanina, sir, they all belong dito sa S&P. Yeah. Uh, uh, wait, I'm not sure if yung six na yan part of the S&P 500. But we can check. Okay. No? Hindi ko lang alam kung, kasi mga, mga usually mga S&P 500, mga 
corporate stock yan. Ito kasi mga uh, tipo uh, index to, no? Mga index uh, na to. Okay. okay. Uh, but of course, we could have uh, used a a portfolio, no? I mean, okay. a portfolio of uh, different stocks. Nangyari, FB, Apple. If, had mm -hmm. we used FB, Apple, Tesla, Netflix, then definitely, nasa ano yun? Nasa S&P 500. And then, uh, okay. Akala ko, sir, kaya natin dinalod tong bench mo. benchmark mm -hmm. is para i-compare dun sa anim na naunang stock. So, totally separate sila. Oo. Uh, yes. Later okay. on, i-compare natin. Ha? Kasi kukunin natin beta. And beta is a determinant okay. of uh, the riskiness of our portfolio relative to the market. Uh, if you recall okay. from your cap M, kunyari, kinumpute natin beta. Kukumputin kasi natin yung beta. No? If beta is equal to 1.5, ibig sabihin nun, our, very volatile siya. Oo, oo 1.5 times yung, yung volatility ng portfolio natin relative to the market. So, importante okay. yung benchmark natin para may comparator tayo. No? Okay, thank you for that question. Okay. All right, good. Sige. All right, now, uh, ito, sorry sa wrong spelling ko, cal spelling. calculate. All right, isang importante sa finance, syempre yung, ano, yung pag-compute ng returns, no? Uh, hindi naman natin ina-analyze yung prices ng stocks. What we analyze are the returns ng stocks. Wala, wala akong ma madalang, no? Wala akong nakikita ang, ano, ang ina-analyze yung, ano, yung, yung uh, ano ito, yung prices no? we don't we don't look at the prices but rather what we look at are the returns okay sige so uh, how do we compute now for the returns okay ito maraming ano yan maraming functions yan sa ano sa sa r no we can merong ang function sa base r merong function din sa sa portfolio analytics no or meron din function sa I think sa TTR meron din yata, no? But anyway, so let's let's first uh, compute for the you know, for the returns. So what function are we going to use? We can we can make use of uh, a function called in na natin to, ah. But andito tong oh, sorry. Dali. At naging ganito yung ano ko. Kita ko sa console. Uh, hindi ko pa nararan to, no? Okay, let's take a look first at ito. I-check nga natin tong function na to, ROC. Ayan. Okay? So, saan natin ginagamit yung function na ROC? And rate of change or momentum. So, this is coming from your uh, technical trading rules, no? Okay. So, the ROC calculates the rate of change of a series over n periods rate of change lang so which is simple returns diba so pero pwede ring ano yan ha discrete discrete is simple or continuous yung continuous ito yung log returns so may kaibahan yung discrete returns or simple returns with uh with uh, yung continuous returns which is yung log returns all right so sige let's let's now calculate our uh, benchmark. Gawin natin itong bench. Let's call it benchmark returns. No? Alt minus. Okay, so how do we compute a class for our benchmark returns? Simply, ano lang? Gagamitin natin si ROC, no? Yan, no? Rate of change. Rate of change ni, no? Rate of change ni plus yung X natin, tinan nyo, ha? Ang syntax niya, X muna, no? Yung price, yung volume. So, ano yung kinukuha natin ng rate of change? C. Anyone? Benchmark prices. Yes, correct. Si benchmark prices, di ba? Oh, type ko lang bench. Pag tinayip ko B and C, lalabas na si benchmark prices. Di ba? Kasi ito yung prices eh. Tapos ang gusto natin, malaman yung 
returns. No? And then, uh, ang default nito, the default is continuous. Yan, uh, compounding type either continuous, which is the default, or discrete. So, kunin natin pag simple returns, dapat i-identify natin na discrete. Tapos nakalagay dito sa, ano, sa, sa help function niya, di ba? Type, compounding type, either continuous, which is the default, or discrete. Okay, so if you want, kung ang gusto mo continuous, which is usually is, which is the one used in finance, kahit hindi mo na ita, ilagay yung type is equal to, to discrete kasi it will revert to the default, which is continuous. Okay, so tingnan muna natin to. Run natin to bench ROC, no? rate of change, benchmark prices, type is equal to discrete, control, enter. Okay, and then we have here now benchmark returns. Okay. So you, you now have here. Uh, so dapat pala. Okay. May nakalimutan tayo, no? Ano nakalimutan natin, class? Closing price number. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry, ha? nakalimutan ko. Uh, yung benchmark prices natin, lahat pa rin, di ba? So we have two. Also, uh, dapat ito si benchmark prices. Malita natin to. Hmm? O dagdagan natin ng Okay. I-subset din natin, no? Subset din natin siya yung fourth lang. Okay, so let me rerun this whole code chunk. All right. Yan. So ito na lang, GSPC close na siya. All right, good. So we have already changed benchmark prices and then let's run this again. Okay. So, bakit tayo ma-NA sa simula? Kasi, wala siyang... Di ba, ano ba yung formula class ng ano? Ng simple returns? Uh, annotate ko lang. Di ba, ang simple returns is simply... Yung gen generic formula niya is 1 plus your returns, simple returns, ba? Is equal to yung price at time t over price at time t minus 1. Sorry for the handwriting. Time t minus 1. Or, of course, simple returns natin r is simply equal to uh, transpose lang natin si 1. No? Price at time t over price at time t minus 1 and then minus 1. So this is just the rate of change. No? Rate of change lang to discrete or simple returns. So ito yung formula natin. And let's just check. Uh, any questions about this? I'm sure alam na alam yung to, no? Parang percentage change lang naman yan. Eh. The price now divided by the price yesterday minus 1. So parang sa elementary, pinag-uusapan na natin ba yung rate of change. Ito yun, no? Percentage change. Alright, so let me clear this. Uh, just to... Uh, just to validate. No, no? So benchmark prices. So ito yung price P sub T natin. Gamitin natin itong P sub T. Control D. Divided by P sub T minus 1 yung prior before. Control C. Control D. Alright. Price at time T. Divided by price at time T minus 1 yung previous niya. And then I subtract 1. <clears throat> Control, enter. <clears throat> so I'm getting negative 0 0.018. I, I expected a negative kasi bumaba yung price. No? From 2058 naging 2020. So we expect a negative ano, negative return. Negative 0 0.018. Tingnan natin yung benchmark returns natin. Negative. So times uh, 10 to the negative 2. So we move two decimal places. Copy ko to, control C, control D, and then I move two decimal places, 0 0.01. Diba? Ayun, no? 0 0.01278111. Okay? It, it's, it's exactly the same. <clears throat> Alright? So, uh, meron tayong ano, no? Uh, just to avoid problems kasi pag sinasali natin yung NA niyan, baka magproblema tayo. So, lagyan ko lang dito ng 
remove N, N A, you know, N A natin. Okay, so we know several ways to do this. We can copy this. Okay, and then, diba pwedeng ganito, no? Pwedeng control C, control V. Pwede natin gawing uh, bracket, and then minus 1. Yan, tinan nyo to, no? minus 1. Ibig sabihin, uh, kukunin niya yung prices, huwag niya ilalagay yung, yung first element. Kasi yung first element, hindi niya isasama kasi NA yan. So tatanggalin niya. No? Pag kinuha niya yung bench, bench uh, mark returns, it will remove the first element there. Okay, so i-run ko lang to, no? Okay, let's see if, yan, tinanggal na niya. No? Or, uh, pwede rin, ano, pwede rin, uh, if you want, pwede rin natin isama na yung na.omit. Okay, if you prefer this, control C, pwede natin ilagay yung na.omit. Open, open, okay. Right. So, pwedeng ito or pwedeng ito. It will give you the same. Alright? Hindi ko lang dito or. Para may notes tayo. Or. Alright. You can use the na.omit. So, ang mangyari niyan, kukunin niya yung benchmark prices, uh, yung returns ng benchmark prices, discrete, tapos, tatanggalin niya yung ano, yung yung NA, no? yung NA omit, control enter, and then you can see, yun nga, no? pareho lang yung nangyari. Alright, now if it's continuous, uh, yun ko lang to, and then we end. Pag continuous naman, either, diba? either control C, control B, uh, uh, pwedeng con no? continuous or log, pwedeng log. Okay, log. Surely, mas ginagamit yung log. Type is equal to, papalitan natin type, continuous. Okay? Or we can ignore that. No? Pag hindi natin, subukan nyo na lang, no? if we don't put this type is equal to, it will compute na continuous siya. Iba siya kaysa dun sa ano. Sa, and then para ano na, diretso na and it that omit okay there alright so benchmark returns log okay take note it's different no from the returns kanina 1827 811 to 18.2 uh, 1844721. Okay, I leave you now. Uh, I leave you guys to discover how this was generated. Just tanuin ko kayo next meeting, ha? Kung paano na generate to. Uh, I, ju I just want to. Uh, Alright, itong missing values yan. Alam na natin yan. Uh, how about that one, guys? Paano natin i rename Kasi ang, uh, ang gusto natin yung, ano natin, yung column name, no? Ano gusto natin? Yung column name natin, hindi yung, uh, how do you, how do you change a name? Ito. Ah, hindi, hindi. Ah, okay. Ang gusto natin yung uh, name ng uh, ng ano natin, ng uh, ng portfolio, no? Diba? Kasi yung portfolio natin, yung portfolio prices natin, okay, ang mga pangalan niya, yan, spy.close, EFA. Uh, what if I want just to use spy, EFA? Okay, so very quickly lang yan, anong gagawin natin? There's a function called call names, no? Call names ni 
column names ni no ni portfolio prices natin portfolio prices okay should be one Diba ginamit natin tong word na ticker kanina? Ito, diba? Tickers pala, no? Tickers. Ayan. So, if we want to change the name, the column names natin, then identify tickers. Eh, alam niya, ano yan? Vector yan eh. Ng SPY, EFA. Okay? So, i-run natin to. Okay. Ayan. So, ito na yung mga al natin. All right. So let me Okay, last ito. May mga ano, nakuha natin katong kanina, di ba? Right? Sa portfolio natin, di ba? I think we were able to run this already. Ito ano, di ba? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So we'll see. Um, uh, inob ko pala doon, no? All right. So just uh to end our discussion, ito na lang, plot. No? Plot natin si portfolio prices. Okay, and we end in this. The next meeting, we carry we carry it off from ang kukunin na natin na returns yung ano, yung okay. So, pag plot natin yan, yan makikita natin yung different stocks natin. All right. Any questions, class? Sir, question. Yes, sure. Sa young, sa young finance lang ba nakakakuha ng data si R Studio? Ah, hindi. Uh, it can get data from Fred, uh, yung Federal Reserve, ano yung St. Louis. Okay, uh, hindi natin na-discuss last time yun. Ano? Pero pwede sir ako mag-upload mag, uh, ng data then analyze ko gamit. Upload sa R? Oo. Sir. Oh, of course, of course. Oh, you can. Ito, okay. ini-import lang natin data. But if you have available data, definitely. Okay. Pwede. So you can use, ito meron dito, ano? ito import data set. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can put your data dun sa, sa folder natin. Pag pinasok mo siya doon sa project folder natin, lalabas dito yun. Tapos pwede mo siyang i-import. No? Import mo siya. No? Uh, siguro next next meeting, i-end natin yun. Yung, yung pag-import. Okay? Uh, did that answer your question, Tim? Uh, yes, sir. Oh, sorry, uh, ito na lang. Last ano na talaga to. Uh, I-complete natin yung stock returns natin. no Or... Let's call it uh, sige, stock return sa lang. Kasi iba't ibang stock siya. No? Ano yung function natin dito? Diba ROC? Diba? So isama na natin si NA.omit. Okay, and then ROC. And then, si ano natin? Si portfolio. Portfolio prices. Alright? Uh, one, two, one, two. So dito, we're creating this object, stock returns. Tapos, kinocompute lang yung, ano, yung, yung returns, rate of change ni portfolio prices. Remember, ang portfolio prices natin, yung limang, ano natin, limang uh, ETFs, no? So, if I run this, para hindi na natin ulitin tong returns next week. No? Alright, so we now have this stock returns. Tapos, wala na yung, ano, wala na yung, ba yan, no? Wala na yung first line na NAs. Otherwise, kasi magkaka na -sian. So you now have here the returns of SPY, EFA, IJS, etc. So next meeting class, ang gagawin natin, mag-recreate na tayo ng portfolio. Yan. Calculate now the portfolio. Uh, initially, mag-ano muna tayo, tingnan muna natin yung equally weighted. No? Tapos tingnan natin yung plot, pa-plot natin performance niya. Tapos ito na magme-metrics tayo. No? Kasi Doon sa cap M, kailangan natin yung risk free rate. So let's assume that the risk free rate is 3.5% and the trading days uh, every year is 252. Yun ang ginagamit nila. No? So ikakalculate natin si beta. Uh, kasi may beta na regular, na bullish, na bearish. Sorry for the spelling here. And then 
Janssen's, Janssen's alpha, and then sharp ratio, and then isa summarize it. All right? So this and more next week ang gagawin natin. Right? So ito, uh, I, pinatarget ko saan na matapos natin ngayon. Kaso uh, mahaba-haba pa ito. No? So wag na muna. Uh, I think, uh, how is our pace today, class? Uh, did you learn something today? Yes, sir. A lot. Yes, sir. Not good. Good. I'm happy. Yes, no? I'm happy. So I hope uh, mga master students kayo. No? So uh, I'm sure you'll take charge of your own learning. Of course, yung mga yung requirements sa class, aaralin talaga natin yun. And I hope this will spur you to improve your R skills. And who knows, will you be able to use this in your line of work or later on kung sa ibang ano, ibang venue. Okay? Alright, so let me stop recording now.